Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog, well, it's something I have uh, been debating to share with you or just uh, keep it aside. But today was the day for me to just to go ahead and say, hey, you know what, I do want to share this story. <music> The term bullied really wasn't in back then as you were. The word gay really wasn't used. Didn't hear it as a kid. Um, queer really wasn't in. What they harassed me was, you're a sissy. Sissy is all I heard. And this started at a very young age. This started in the fourth grade, elementary school. And that's the year I began hating school so bad. I didn't want to continue on, didn't want to go back, used to dread in the morning. Of course I'm older, and you get over it, you become stronger. But I'm going to take you back to the elementary school days. Fourth grade, so fourth grade you're probably what? Eight? Seven, eight? And I remember it started in my classroom where someone made fun of my shoes. I know that they had a little hill on it. I wish it would have been thicker and longer, but Mama said no. <laughs> but I remember someone had said it was a guy. Those are girls' shoes. I said, no, they're not. Yes, they are. And because there was someone with him, yes, they are. Making fun of me and giving me a hard time. And of course, it hurt my feelings. And the following day, probably wore the same shoes again. Same boy, same other little boy, did the same thing. And then there was girls around. And they started calling me sissy. So there was always someone in the classroom where they make fun of someone. That year was my year. I was being made fun of. I was bullied. Boy, did it, did it suck. It really sucked. All I know is that I hated school ever since. Now those students who were in my class in the fourth grade were also in the fifth grade and the sixth grade. I remember also in the fourth grade where I told the teacher they're making fun of me. And she was, oh, you'll be okay, don't worry about it. And they outcast me. I couldn't play games with them. I couldn't play tetherball, I couldn't play dodgeball because they would make fun of me. I felt so alone. I felt so insecure. You know, my siblings, I never told them, never told my sister, never told my parents. If I did tell my mother, I recall that it was something brief, but she didn't take it serious. You know, I brushed it off. Hated school, but when I got home, it was different. I was with my family, I was with my siblings, I was with my, my friends, my neighbors next door. But in fifth grade, they started doing the same thing, making fun of me, because it was the same kids in the class. And you kind of get used to it. Sixth grade, kind of cooled off a bit. Seventh grade, I would still get sissy here and there. And for some reason, they would whisper the word sissy to me. When they walked by, or if they sat behind me in the class on the desk, they would say sissy. And I knew who they were. But as you become also a student in high school, most of them I didn't have a class anymore. But if I did, they would try to start the words to see me. But I would look at them and just stare them down with a very mean look. I became stronger. Yes, I ended up becoming a sissy, but gay. <laughs> became stronger, more bitter, but I had to let that bitterness go. I just know I will not tolerate crap. As an adult, I have no fear. I don't care who you are. I don't care how big or tall you are. I have no fear of you. If you want to throw down, I will throw down. And that reminds me. I have a niece who will probably get to share the story too. <laughs> I'll see if I can uh, bring her on to another blog where fighting got involved. But going back to this blog. <laughs> and if I didn't go through it, and 
who I am now, I probably would have the fear, still be timid, still be hiding, you know, not be myself. Now I know kids nowadays are really bullied. Or are suicide involved. I'm glad that never happened to me, not even a thought. You guys, what I'm trying to share with you is if there is someone you know, a family member or a friend or something, and they're going through it, you suspect it or they say something to you, take it seriously, please. Just the outcast feeling. You know, just being alone. Just being afraid. So, if you can reach out to them, do. And let them know they are someone. And there is someone there to protect them. Because nowadays, if there is something going on like that in the schools, you have to notify administration immediately, any teacher. And I hear that uh, they'll stop it right away, which is great and which is a plus. So that is my point here, guys. If you suspect anything that someone being bullied, please step in, especially for students, because it's an awful feeling. I've been through it. It hurt, it sucked, it's scary. You're alone and you feel alone and you feel like there's no end. You just have so much fear, you're so scared. But reach out to them, let them know, it's okay, it's gonna be okay. But that's a story and a personal story of mine that I got to share with you as far as being bullied as a kid. Now, I know there's adults and the word is being bullied, but I don't think it's bullied because you're not a kid, you're an adult, you're being harassed. So, you can help yourself, reach out to family members, reach out to close friends, and, uh, don't stand alone. Don't be alone. Reach out for help. As an adult, reach out for help. Someone will be there for you to support you. Guys, I just want to say thank you for listening. Thank you for watching my uh, vlogs. I uh, hope you did like this vlog. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and like. And please subscribe. And my links are down below for all my social media. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for subscribing, the ones who have subscribed. I want to say thank you so much to my close friends, to my family, my uh, colleagues who do subscribe and watch my vlogs. So thanks, guys, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Cheers. So anyways, once again, I have my guest, which is Patty and Michelle, but I call it Tulula and Petunia Patrice. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we were trying to get together last week, but for some reason,